Hello and welcome back to Football Scrutiny. Today we're going to take a look at the defensive setup from Liverpool when they defend against corners. Here I'm just highlighting the players, but it's not until we put it into the 3D stadium that we can really see the positioning of the players. I'm going to put the players' numbers in, I'm just going to talk about which players from which positions and why. First, obviously, Allison in goal. Left back, number 26, Robertson at the near post. Strong and aggressive player who always goes out to the short kicks and prevents them from being flicked on. Next, we've got number 12, Gomez, and number 4, Van Dijk, nearing towards the, the middle and the back post of the goal. Number 66, Trent Arnold, just outside the six-yard box. Normally, he just leaves the ball for Van Dijk to win any ball coming over the top, and Trent Arnold will then go and press the ball out or even initiate a counter-attack. Number 9, Firmino, in the middle of the two centre-backs, the three best headers of the Liverpool squad in the middle of the goal, protecting Alisson. The midfielders in this case, Fabinho number three, number five in Aldrum, and number 15, Oxlade Chamberlain, are in the positions of the near post, number five. Number three, Fabinho is blocking alongside Sadio Mane, number 10. Oxlade Chamberlain, number 15, ready for any short corner, also counter-attacks. And then Salah on the edge of the box to pick up those rebounds and also create counter-attacks. So let's just have a look. Here we've got that zonal area there where all those players are zonal marking. No one's man marking. Then just around the penalty spot, we've got two blockers. In this case, it was Sadio Mane and Fabinho blocking any players that come into that area to get a run up. And then on the edge of the box, we've got number 15 who's responsible for short corners and also for the counter-attacks and Salah on the edge of the box for the rebounds. Number 26, Robertson is in charge of trying to prevent a player from getting into that area here and creating a flick on. We can see the shaded area which he's left when that ball will come in and we can also see that number 5 in Aldrum is moving in to cover that space. This happens on almost all of the corner kicks that Robertson moves into this area and it's important to talk about this to understand why in a minute we're going to see that they switch positions on the opposite side. When the ball is on the opposite side, they switch around completely. Here we can see that the players are different positions. So now this time Robertson is now at the near post. Van Aldrum has switched posts. The two centre-backs have switched either side of Firmino. Firmino is the only one that stays in the same position. And then Trent Alexander on the opposite side is now in the left-back position. And the importance for saying this is that most teams wouldn't do this. Most teams would have the left back staying in the left side of the pitch, the right back staying on the right hand side of the pitch. But as is Robertson's as is Robertson's strength at preventing that near post flick on and being aggressive, that he stays at the near post and Trent Alexander, number 66, moves at the back post to try and initiate counter-attacks. Why is this important to look at? Because we can see the distance that Arnold and Robertson need to cover to be able to get back into their positions. Whereas if they were in their normal positions, you can see that the distance is a lot shorter for them to be able to get into those positions. So obviously Jurgen Klopp prefers his players to be in exactly the same positions. Everyone knows exactly what their role is and there's no confusion between corner kicks. Okay, so here's a corner kick set up on the opposite side of the pitch where we can see the players all in exactly the same positions. But as I pointed out, Trent Arnold, the right back playing on the left side of the pitch and Robertson, the left back playing on the right side of the pitch to prevent the short. The reasoning for this is either because the left back and the right back have different characteristics. Trent Arnold, not so attentive at the corner kicks, whereas Robertson, very attentive and very aggressive in the air and preventing any flick-ons in that near post. Whereas Trent Arnold seems to be more capable at the counter-attacks and pushing out. Here we're just taking another example from a corner which is flicked into that near post with Robertson. Here I'm just highlighting the fact that Robertson is so attentive. He's looking, scanning to see if any players are going to move into that area. And if they do, he's going to go with them. By the time the ball's crossed in, Robertson on this occasion is left and trying to get in front of that player to try and win the ball. And Van Aldrum is going to move into the space which he's left. The problem on this occasion is that the Chelsea player didn't continue moving forward and the ball went over Robertson's head and Van Aldrum wasn't able to win the ball first. Therefore this space which I've highlighted now 
is a danger area for Liverpool due to the high positioning of that defensive line towards the edge of the six yard box. Any ball bouncing into this area here is dangerous and it's easy enough to get an opportunity on goal right in front of the six yard box, which is exactly what happened. He had two players just unfortunate to get a touch on the ball and make it 1-0 to Chelsea. If you like this analysis and want to see more, the second part of the Liverpool defensive corner kick series will focus on short corners and how opposition teams are creating opportunities to score against such an advancing Liverpool defence when they push out. If you want to see it, check it out. It will be online in the next few days.